Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Flute from Winhanced, and today I want to walk you all through the latest build of the Living Glass version of Winhanced. Uh, so I just put out the most recent build to our Patreon supporters, and we should be expecting to see uh, this build go out to the public within the next, I'd say, two weeks. Um, but this one's actually pretty exciting. We're building on the success that we've had with the Living Glass version so much by doing a few things, and that's making game monitoring a bit more robust, uh, allowing some customization features, um, as well as we added two really, really awesome features that the community has been asking for for a while now. So uh, the first one that I want to show off, um, and this is an easy one, if you navigate over here to settings, and we go down to uh, performance, um, which, by the way, uh, this menu is not always going to look like that. It is in the, I'm trying to figure out the actual layout that I want it to be, but for now, I'm just sticking stuff in here. That's why it still says coming in a later release. But um, if you come over to this performance settings, you'll see uh, not only do we have our enable custom power plan, which I actually did some improvements on, uh, turns out there was a small bug. Uh, where it wasn't always properly switching to the plan when it was supposed to, but now it does every time, um, as well as this launch win hints at startup button. Yes, that is correct. If you restart your device, um, when as soon as you log in, it will boot right into Winhance, which is amazing. Okay, the next feature that I want to talk about is uh, we have our first integration of Discord. So when you first update your app, uh, you'll see a little login button here. You can also log in via settings. Um, but once you log in, essentially it's going to pull in all of the different servers that you're a part of. And um, for now, this in this first iteration, it's just the servers and then selecting a server is actually just going to open it up within your browser. Uh, so you can join via like a browser uh, version, uh, a browser instance of Discord. Um, I'm still working through some things on the back end on how we can improve this even more. But it's cool to see every tab on the main menu here now actually populating with its cards, which is awesome. Next, let's go over to library. Uh, because the next big feature that everybody's been asking for that we just went ahead and added in is actually support for cloud libraries. But we didn't just add support for cloud libraries, we did something actually really interesting. So first I'll show you the basics. Uh, so the two cloud libraries that we have right now are going to be xCloud as well as GeForce Now. Um, and if you select the GeForce Now game, uh, what this will end up doing is launching an instance of GeForce Now. If you have the app installed on your device, it'll launch this via the app. Um, if you don't have the app, it'll, it'll launch it via a full screen edge window. Um, I personally like having the app just because it's a more native experience, similar to something like Discord. Um, but as you can see, you, it pops you right in and you get full access to all of your controls and there's no inputs happening from, from Winhance in the background. The it is gonna be the same thing here for xCloud as well. <clears throat> Clicking on xCloud will launch always launch the Microsoft Edge version of xCloud uh, within a full screen window. Um, and the same deal, once it's fully loaded, you can load in here with full control and full access to your entire xCloud library. Um, however, that was easy mode, right? I wanted to make this a more console-like experience. So how do we do that? Well, number one, the first thing I want to mention is for Games that are not a part of xCloud, so let's for example take Expedition 33 here. You can see I don't have it installed on my device. However, if I either push the drop down menu there or push Y on my key controller here, you can see I now have an option called Play Via the Cloud. If I select this option, um, if you don't already have a link saved, what it will end up doing is opening up a GeForce Now window for you to find the game in GeForce Now if it exists, and then selecting that game will save the Cloud Play link. Um, and once that Cloud Play link is saved, when you do that and you select the option for playing with Cloud like this, it launches it within GeForce Now. So you can actually launch directly from the game card into a GeForce Now instance and play the game, if you're signed in, of course. <laughs> the other thing here, and this one was a lot of fun to implement, um, xCloud games. So your Xbox library. 
At import, we are able to see that the game is cloud compatible within xCloud. We've added the ability to automatically link up those xCloud instances. So if I select play locally, it gives me the option to install it, obviously. But if I select xCloud and then hit play, it'll actually take me directly to uh, the xCloud instance of that game. And I can actually just start playing the game. Don't know why I did that, because now I have to exit out. But you can see it's fully working, which is great. The only tricky bit here right now is once it enters into this full screen mode on a console like this, it's a little bit difficult to exit out. So what I've just been doing on, on with, uh, with Asus, or sorry, yeah, with my Asus Ally X, is I just go down here and hit end task, and that gets me out of it. Um, I'm going to look to introduce a feature directly into Enhanced to allow you to do that. Um, if you don't have a uh, ally device, um, what I would recommend is actually just closing it out via the, not with hands, but closing out like the xCloud window via the uh, taskbar. That's one way to get around doing it. Um, additionally, so those are, that's, that's cloud gaming built directly into the Winhance experience, which is fantastic. Um, the other thing that I'll show you as well um, is that every once in a while, you'll, you probably have noticed some notifications popping. I think the easiest way to get me to have this instance show up is for me to go over here, performance. There you go. I now have um, notifications built into the app for important functions. So if there's like an error, or if you connect a controller, or if you successfully added a link, like those types of things, you'll now start to see notifications popping up here in the bottom right, just to give you some more insights into what exactly is going on within Winhanced. So let's say you go to Xbox, and oh no, it looks like I don't have actual artwork for these two games. Um, up until now, we've just been showing the error report, uh, error importing the art. But now, if you were to go into here, let's, is there a game in here that I can actually put some artwork on if I have it on my device? Uh, Gears of War, this is a great example. I hope I have the, I don't think I have the artwork downloaded, but you'll see there's a settings menu here. If I select A on that settings menu, it opens up a brand new window uh, with general and change artwork. Now, in general, right now you have the ability to add launch arguments. However, this is not actually hooked up on the back end yet. So putting launch arguments in here won't actually do anything yet. This will come in the next update. Um, but what is hooked up is this choose artwork section. So you can come down here, you can select uh, box art. Um, and then in this first iteration, you now have the ability to go in and actually manually update, upload any artwork that you want. Um, you know what, let's do a banner art. And it's gonna be really hilarious because it's just gonna be like a Winhance artwork. But if I select that and I select, I don't know, this and hit open, and then I go back, you can see that it now has custom banner art. And you can do this for box art and banner art for any, uh, any game that you want. Um, and in the near future, my plan is to, uh, this button up here at the top where it says browse alternative artwork. This will be a direct integration with Steam Grid DB so that you could actually browse Steam Grid DB for the artwork that you want and select it that way instead of having to go somewhere and manually download the artwork and upload it yourself that way. Uh, but yeah, so that's the first introduction of additional game settings, which is something that I know the community has been asking for for a while. Uh, but yeah, that's actually it for this update. Um, I think everything else that's left is going to be actually starting the merge of Winhance Legacy and uh, the Winhance Living Glass version. So um, as a lot of the folks on who have been subscribed to the channel have seen, we just introduced Autopilot and Autopilot Plus in testing for our Legacy version. Um, we wanted to test our model to make sure it's accurate. And once we know that it's stable, the goal is now going to be to migrate that into this experience. Uh, so we'll start by fleshing out uh, the different menus here over here in settings with like all the performance settings that come within Winhance Legacy today. And then once that's integrated, we'll start the process of actually bringing over the overlay so you can access that, that functionality within a game. Uh, but yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video, everybody. So if you have any questions at all about what we've shared or just Winhance in general, definitely feel free to let me know in the comment section. 
Um, as well as I also want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon members who have been helping to support this uh, experience. It's, and remember that if you are a Patreon supporter and at the early access tier or above, you do get early access to these features. And what I'm showing you here right now is live to those early access users. Um, and I also want to give a huge shout out to our singular Patreon producer, Raven. Thank you so much. That's going to go ahead and do it all. I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye.